Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, as you can see, I've got a, another large, large kit to share with you guys today. This is Trumpeter Models 116 scale M1A1 AIM Abrams main battle tank. And it's a, it's a big boy, as you can see. This is the same scale as the uh, Tamiya kit that I built uh, a couple months ago now. And our friends over at Squadron.com were kind enough to get us out a sample copy of this since they are an importer of Trumpeter, to let you guys see the inside of this kit and all the different parts that go into it. Now, the Tamiya kit that came out a while ago is sometimes hard to get a hold of and it's going to be a little bit more expensive. So this might offer a better, uh, better option for some consumers out there that this kit retails for $269. So it's quite a bit less expensive than the, uh, the Tamiya kit, but it doesn't have all the moving parts and stuff because it's designed to be a static model on it. So like I was telling you, uh, Squadron has been kind enough to get us out and they're offering a special price on this kit right now as well as if you punch in the word Abrams at checkout, just, just A-B-R-A-M-S, Abrams at checkout, they have a special paint kit that they'll include with this model for free for you guys. So, But what I'll do right now is I'm not going to build this entire kit because I have so many other projects ahead of us right now with the cars and the airplanes and other things coming right here. But I thought I would give you a few minutes and just show you the insides, kind of uh, give you a little walkthrough on it. I should also point out to you too, this vehicle does not have a full interior like many of Trumpeter's other 16 scale models. It is strictly just the static display of the exterior of the vehicle. Now uh, later on this year, Trumpeter is releasing a 16 scale Panther with a full interior, which I'm very excited about and actually plan on doing a, a couple of video builds on the full, full build up of that particular kit. Uh, but that's probably not coming out until November or December from what I'm, what I'm hearing right now. So uh, let's get started on it. Okay, the first thing you'll notice is that it comes in a suitcase size box and it even has a carrying handle on it. It's so large. And like all of Trumpeter's big scale kits, there are boxes inside of boxes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these out, break them down into smaller boxes. That way it will be a little bit easier to film and show you guys. Okay, the first box we opened up and inside the first box is the lower hull, the upper hull, and the, uh, the two parts that make up the, uh, the turret. What we'll start off with is the lower hull first and you can see all the nice detail that has been provided for you on this. And of course it's all very thick plastic because it's it is such a monster kit it has to be able to hold up and quite a bit of uh, attachment points inside there. Not quite sure what those are all going to be for but all these parts if you remember had to be put on separately for the Tamiya kit so these are all already in place and ready to go. And probably the most important thing we're going to take a look at is the, uh, the upper surface of the, uh, the, the hull here. And I'm very, very impressed with the, uh, the amount of detail that Trumpeter has put inside this kit. First of all, you can see it has the anti-skid over all the upper surfaces right here in the correct position. Plus the grab handles are already pre-attached on here. And I'll kind of zoom in and let you see. They did a very, very nice job on those. Uh, for being attached already, they look really, really good. Also show you some of the uh, grab handles for back here. Now I was looking a little further in the two. There is photo etch for all of the grills on here as well. So just like the, uh, the Tamiya kit, we'll have all of that in there. More closely. And then we'll also take a look at the uh, the turret. And the turret is, of course, is a two-piece turret, just like most would be. And it has the anti-skid all over the top here as well. And this is all knock. These were the uh, the blowout plates will go on top, and these pieces will get punched out as well. Okay, I opened up all of the parts of the uh, the second second box. And I'll start off with uh, this first sprue here. And this sprue comes with your 50 caliber as well as your 30 caliber. And you can see that all of those have been slide molded, which is very, very nice. So that's all hollowed out for you. 
as well as the uh, the end of your barrel has also been slide molded as one nice piece. So that won't require that would be a tough part too to sand out any of the uh, the seam out of the middle of that. So you also have the anti skid on the the bends in the back here. Also keep in mind too, I'm going to show you a, uh, a more, uh, some pictures of all these sprues later on too at the end of this video. So if you want to take a closer look at any of the parts, it'll be able to see them at the very end there. Then we're also going to come to the, the wheels now. And this, this sprue, you get four of these sprues in the box. They have the, uh, the detail wheels as well as the uh, suspension arms inside. Take a look at that. And also there's the... Uh, the 50, 50 caliber uh, ammo box. And, and since there's one on every sprue, you actually get four 50 caliber ammo boxes. And then we have this other sprue right here. This has got your tow bar on it, as well as some of your lights and part of the rear engine deck here. Those all look to be made up pretty well. And now we come to the uh, the actual gun. Now the gun is molded into two separate halves, which most of it will be pretty easy to clean up the seam. There will be a little bit of difficulty around some of these grooves, but because it is fairly large, it won't be as difficult as like doing a 35th scale vehicle would be. Plus it has all of these ammunition blow off panels and it comes with three different varieties of that. And I've also heard too that there's a company, and I can't think of the name of it right now, that is going to be doing a metal and resin variant of this particular barrel. That's what I've been told at least. So keep an eye out for that if you're going to do that kit. And then we're going to come to the, uh, the tracks on this vehicle. Now the tracks on this kit are quite a few parts on it but they will be fully workable once you get them done. So you have a, a, a rubber pad on this side as well as the back of the pad that will be mounted over the middle portion of this track and then you have an individual guide horn. But if you put them together properly, you'll actually have a full set of working tracks. And, and because of the size of these things, it shouldn't be hard at all. It's just a matter of cutting all the parts off, cleaning them up, and then getting them built together. But it uh, should make up to a nice set of tracks that will come out with it. You get four sprues of this size for each side of the vehicle. So this right here makes up the, uh, just, oh, excuse me, five. Five sprues for each side of the track. So that's just one side of the track. And then there's uh, another bag for the other side as well. Okay, I've got the, uh, the second box open and we're gonna go through the individual parts that will make up this kit. Uh, first of all, you get two sets of this sprue right here. This has got the uh, drive sprocket teeth as well as the rest of the dry sprocket that you build up, the three pieces that make that up. Also show you too, uh, the photo etch that I was talking about earlier. So it has all of the screening for the bottom of the, uh, the bustle rack, as well as the uh, screens for the rear engine deck, plus some other uh, panels here that look like bolt plates that you put on, I'm sure, in certain areas. And we've got the... Uh, this sprue right here, which has your whip antenna, the 50 cal bullets, as well as your 30 cal, and some of the other accessories that will go on here. Okay, in the final box, I'll show you the parts that are coming in here. Uh, we have our commander's hatch right here, and all of the uh, the vision glass is not part of, not inside of here, because they actually do give you individual vision blocks for all this. So this is nice. We can paint these up with the uh, the clear blue on it. There we go. You also get a almost completely molded APU or auxiliary power unit, as well as almost a completely molded uh, bustle rack for the back here, which if I'm not mistaken, this is gonna plug in somewhere right around in here. Actually, yeah, there it goes right there. So you'll just have to put the plate in back of it there. Uh, the turret comes with a, uh, a Teflon ring here that'll bolt into place here and have guide teeth inside so it'll probably make it move more smoothly rather than just you know popping it into place. You also get three big bags of already cleaned up rubber tires so these are ready to go. They're ready just to snap on to the uh, right onto the road wheels there so that'll make it quick and easy for you on that. You also, inside here, the breech is also molded up as one piece. I should have opened this already for you guys, but there you go. There's your uh, 
your breech on it as well. And you also get a thing of decals and a couple bags of screws here for putting everything together. But And once I do all the individual pictures, we'll open up the decals and take a nice um, close-up shot of all of that stuff. So let you take a better look at them there.